In Commitment 2022, we continue to talk with candidates running for state offices. The 48th District covers Berks, Lancaster, and Lebanon counties. Incumbent Republican Senator Christopher Gebhardt is running against Democrat Calvin Clements, a retired veterinarian. We asked them about election security and if they think IDs should be required to vote. I do believe that probably it's not a bad idea that we have some semblance of voter ID, but I don't want the state uh, administering a voter ID card to every voter because you know that's going to end up being a poll tax. That's going to be people who can't get to, to the uh, system to get a card are not going to be able to vote. And I think almost everybody has a legitimate piece of identification, whether it's to buy their drugs at the pharmacy or to get their food stamps or or what have you. And, and I think that those are our IDs that we can we can accept that'll help to improve the issues around, is that the person that's really voting? The idea that we don't think we should show an ID when we go vote is just a foreign, crazy concept to me. There's there's so many things in our lives on a daily basis where we do have to show an identi our identification. Why wouldn't we want to do it on the, on the uh, two days a year that we vote, when we vote in the primary and we vote in the general election cycle? It just seems crazy to me. We also live in a Commonwealth that very easily can get a, a ID to every one of our citizens. So I don't, I, I don't buy into the argument that you're disenfranchising people or you, you know, there are people out there that don't have IDs. We certainly have the ability to do that, and I think we could do that rather efficiently. We also asked each candidate about property taxes. Senator Gebhardt would like to look into exemptions for seniors and those with low incomes. Clements would like to charge oil companies a small wellhead tax and put that money toward education. As for legalization of recreational marijuana, Senator Gebhardt opposes it. Mr. Clements favors legalization.